shot. Up, oh, that is in, Murray with the win! A room to run. And then Newberg with the loss in the first round. And Crocker in the white, in the blue, Lakeway in the red. Crocker with the three to start off. That is off target. And Lady Lions again. Something Bilner talked to him before the game. And a big key to this is really to work, you know, work the way inside, make smart shots. And just like that, you know, Lady Lions able to draw some contact. That's going to send Lexia Mint to the line. First foul is Tolbert for the Hornets. Crocker will get on the board with the free throw. The next game will be the exact same matchup. As the boys will be on the top half of the bracket instead. Winner will play tomorrow in the fifth place game. Loser will go home. This is an elimination game. Newberg was eliminated that last round. And Crocker. Well, that ball is somewhere here. We're going to have a foul, I believe. Second foul on the Hornets. And less than a minute. And Sheldon with that last foul. That's her first. And Coach Schofield up here, he is ready. He is the boys coach again of the Crocker Lions. Crocker back, that's a three, five point swing so far. Five to zero. And after this, we'll have a new stream for the boys. But we have Adam Newton's 11 points away from 1,000 career points for the Crocker Lions. So we'll be keeping track of that. A lot of pretty good marks coming into this season here. Some of these juniors and seniors doing pretty good numbers coming into their final year. Normally you hear, you know, you get high points at the end of the season, but when you're in the first few games, that's a pretty impressive start of the season, especially for some postseason honors. And both these teams will be back here in the same district. Crocker out to an 8-0 start. Similar to the Richland game, Lakeway not really doing a whole lot right now. I mean, just not, not like they're not trying, they're just, the successfulness isn't there. I'm not sure. They need to really increase the defense on the outside in order to make something happen. Again, looking to make this a double-digit lead on this possession. Kick ball. Still Lions football. Crocker with two losses on the year. Both losses attributed. Well, both losses total of three points combined. So both teams, you know, really 
competitive out here so far. Buddy Hornets with a rebound on that. Blakeway was set up for the rebound. The running jumper. And not able to convert. Crocker coming down the other way. A little trouble with the ball. Three, that is good. 11 points. We have a timeout by Lakeway. We'll be back after this. Back out of the commercial here. Lakeway, not a whole lot missed on that. Lakeway possibly getting a going to pick up their first points. And it looks like Alexis Shelton will be heading to the line first here. She is right at the 1,000 point mark. So another one of those players that has the numbers. And with that, two, point, two free throws, two points. Back to a single-digit ball game. Still lots of basketball to play halfway through the quarter. Three, Crocker off target. Lady Lions offense, similar to Richland right now, relying on this three-point shot, baseline... Drive, not there. Might have got away with the call on that. Lakeway can't get the layup. Ball heading the other direction. Three point shot. scoring ball game so far. First game, final 54-44, but it was far lower than that at halftime. Lakeway, this is still Crocker ball. Good defense on the possession, though. Able to get their hands up and divert that pass away. Drop by Ruth is good. 13 to 2. Lead back to 11. And like way spreading the floor out a little bit. Three point shot off target. Second attempt, no good. Back in the hands of Crocker. Jump ball. Possession will stay with Lakeway. Nope, possession will head to Crocker. So I must have missed one of them there. Or I put it down wrong, one of the two. Far, both these teams doing a pretty good job in this ball game. Just Crocker outscoring Lakeway right now is the only difference. Capitalizing and connecting on the three-point shots. And another three on the way. Another three, and that's 16 points now for Crocker. And just like that, Crocker has taken a pretty tough lead in the ball game. This is blocked. Good 
defensive move by Candy on that. Approaching one minute to go with the drive, and that is a turnover. Ball got away. Tom Bilner down there on your video screen in the tie. Three-point shot again, this time off target. Offensive rebound, no good. There's a whistle going the other direction. This will be on the Lions. And Candy with the foul. That is on the box out. Under a minute to go, Lakeway has the ball. They trail by 14 right now. Following next game will be at seven. Waynesville Tigers play. They play the Ava Bears tonight also. That is in the, the, the Stratford tournament. I was about to say St. James. We're not there yet, but we'll get to that one eventually. That game on Misha TV. And both these teams spreading things out a little bit. And turnover, 13 seconds to go. A bit of a collision there. But clock winding down, basket up, no good, and we're going to end this quarter. 16 to 2, Crocker on top. We'll have a message from them a little bit later. Security Bank, a proud sponsor of Allen Hilliard Sports and various sports and schools. Member FDIC, whether you need car loan, house loan, whatever you need. Foul on the Lions. That will be the first and personal foul. That's the second personal foul. So Candy has two now in this first half. Ball still loose. It is on the ground. Time a foul called on Lakeway. Number one, I believe, is the call. That is Addison West, one of the seniors for the Hornets. Her first, team first. teams will wind up playing tomorrow. They'll face, I believe they'll play the first game of the day. It's either 10 or 11 a.m. No, it's noon. But they will face the uh, Plato Eagles. Waiting to see if that shot went in. Drive down. Can't make the basket. No one has scored yet in the first minute and a half of this ball game. Or this quarter, anyway. Foul on the rebound underneath, heading the other way. This is the second foul for Crocker. First foul for 12, I believe, on the board. That is Emma Tolbert. So 
second drive where they have wound up with the foul on the rebound. start tomorrow it will be the girls game so the winner of this will play at noon boys will be at 1 30 and three o'clock will be the third place games and six o'clock will be the championships and candy able to nope that was not candy that was 23 was a mint able to disrupt that pass. Seen the first number and thought I'd seen the second. Three point shot off target. This is about as good as a I don't know. I just lost my train of thought right there. I was going to say some offensive field goal reference for some college football team in the SEC, but I forgot which one. Not Mizzou this year. They are hitting field goals like crazy. Speaking of field goals, we're going to have a full timeout. We're going to take a one-minute break. We'll be back. <laughs> and they are. It is 21-2 right now. We are looking at a very quick ball game if the Hornets can't do something here. Lakeway's first free er, uh, field goal in the ball game from the field. Simple wide open layup on that. Crocker back to 19 points. I believe we have a foul. That is number five. And Emma Ruth with her second. Ball out of bounds, an error. That'll give the ball right back to the Lions. Get the drive, second opportunity not there. Lady Hornets with the rebound. And Alexis Shelton after the catch there, not able to do a whole lot with it. Drove all the way down, but not able to connect to anything. And again, Shelton with the pass that time or caught the pass for the score. It's their second basket they've had in this ball game. The other two points are off free throws. Crocker up. It is good. 25 to six right now. The problem is every score they're making, Crocker is making two, which math doesn't add up when you do that very well. From the corner. Ball cross pass. Shelton underneath kicks it out for the three. Shot is good. Miller with the bucket. And I, you know, part of the conversation was the shooting here. Lakeway in the pack. In the past, they have been able to shoot the ball, and if they can get that rhythm going, they can pick up some points in a hurry. And might have got away with a uh, foul on that. Miller to inbound to Sheldon. Shelton, my bad.
Crocker playing a 1-1-2 defense here. If you watch the bottom, they are pretty much going to stay in that three wide set. And it bounces to like a 2-3 type defense, but it's a matchup. It's a very creative defense to spread the floor. And coming into the game is Haley Stewart. She's a freshman, 5'9". That three, no good. Second attempt up. So Lakeway, that's their 11th point of the ball game. They are outscoring Crocker this quarter right now. Only oh, two and a half minutes to go. Crocker has lost the momentum. Looking for the three. This is off the inside of the iron. Stewart not able to rush it a little bit on the shot. She had the angle, just didn't have the distance. Pass up, not there. All going the other way. That is good. Second chance points for Crocker. This game going fairly quick already. points now. Lakeway picking up the momentum a little bit. Tail of two teams so far. It's been a 12 points for Lakeway. Crocker still in single digits. West with that rebound, but Lakeway can't convert on the other side. A little teardrop. That is off balance. Shelton with the rebound heading down. All out of bounds. That is Olivia. I believe she's a foreign exchange student. I apologize about the last name there. One pass away from an easy shot on that, but they're going to draw the contact. That'll send Lakeway to the line. 20 seconds remain. 13-point difference. Lakeway cutting this lead down drastically. Shelton at the line. And first free throw is good. Second one on the way. Baseline drive. Tear drop is short. Final seconds of the half. We're going to have a travel. So with one second to go. Crocker will have the ball. And I am probably going to say we're not going to do anything too crazy here. shot off target but we're going to take a break Crocker had a hot start 19 point lead in the first quarter however just 6 points by Crocker in that second quarter gave Lakeway 
a 14 point run. And here we are, it is a 14 point, 13, no, 11 point difference. Lickway makes it a, almost made it nine second attempt to no good. Ball heading the other direction, rebounded by Crocker. I believe that is, nope, that is not Candy, that is 23. That is... Sorry, I had to move the camera a little bit. A lot of basketball going on. That was a mint. Apologize for that. Two shots coming for Lakeway. And timeout. We're going to take a break. We'll be back after this. Back here, seven minutes to go in the third, just just about a minute into this quarter. Good way at the line. First free throw is good. Emma Tolbert, a senior. And second one, also good. with the drive in traffic that is tipped still Lakeway ball So both teams a little sluggish to start this quarter. First couple minutes about to tick by and not a whole lot has really changed here. Steal by Crocker on that. Callie York able to get that last steal. And this steal, number five, Emma Ruth with the points, 29-18. Lions still on top, back to 11. Ball heading the other way. Blocking foul, no shot on the floor. Teardrop, that is good. Biggest lead of the half now. 13 point difference. Biggest of the game has been 19 in the first. And the three is good. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back after this. That pass is there's a little errand on him. That'll send it, send the ball back to the Hornets. And Lakeway with the drive in, a little teardrop shot. That is good. Hornets now back to a single-digit ball game since the very first 
early part of the first quarter. This was the closest this game has been so far, and Garofka responds back with a beautiful pass. Traffic, no one there. Except for a couple of Lady Lions, but they weren't probably willing to help too much. But Sorry about that, fixing the camera here. Now it's got a little bit loose. No good. Ten point difference. Still separate the two. Lakeway with possession. That is still Lakeway ball. to the basket, Crocker on the defense, that is blocked, ball on the ground, jump ball, this is Lakeway, so Lakeway will retain possession, back to next dead ball at the quarter, we'll head to Crocker. Hornets with the drive, that is picked away, Crocker, one, two, pass, up, foul, basket good. 35-23, back to a 12-point difference. Shelton with the basket. Right now, one of the leading scorers for the Lady Hornets here, and a illegal screen. So that'll be Shelton's well, I'm not sure what number foul that is, but that is number two on Lakeway. Her up by 12. That's her fourth foul of the ball game, though. So I imagine she is probably going to take a break here the next possession. Driving underneath. So tomorrow the broadcast will be split up. Consolation in third place and then the championships separately. That way you can make things nice and neat video-wise for you. They'll all be on Allen Hood Sports. We're going to take a full timeout by the Lions. And we're going to take one with Coach Tom. Trying to find that rhythm they had. They had four threes in the first quarter to pick up a lead. Well, 
However, they haven't really been successful from the outside since then. Maybe they can do it now. Nope, that is in and out. And jump ball. This should stay with Crocker. Crocker will keep the jump ball. Two fouls for Crocker, three for Lakeway. Biggest problem here is Candy for Crocker. One of their key defensive players has four fouls. Backcourt, well, that's going to go into Crocker, so that's not going to matter. We're going to have a whistle. Traveling, no foul. been a big play for the the Lions if that would have been a foul there. Instead it results in a turnover. Ball picked off heading the other direction. Foul on the way up. And we're going to have two free throws coming for Lakeway. Lakeway had 21 points at the end of the first quarter. And since then, Lakeway has scored 15 points. Lakeway, on the other hand, had two when they have scored 21. So the Hornets still outpacing Crocker, but they still have a pretty good hole to fill. And this foul on the Lady Lions, that is going to be Emma Roots. Third foul. Next free throw will be bonus here for Lakeway, but they're going to have free throws either way. Oh, that's just the fourth foul, but either way. Both teams will be in the bonus. That's on me. And 50 seconds to go. Addison West, first free throw good. Second free throw on the way. Free throw also good. Clock beginning to wind down. Pass, no one there. Easy pass, Crocker can't capitalize. Ball heading the other direction, 40 seconds, too high. It's a 12 point difference right now, Crocker, go teardrop, 14 point difference. Clock continuing to run down to 20 seconds. Lakeway underneath with the basket. Same type of idea. And Crocker trying it again, but that is out of bounds. And that will stay with Crocker. Nine seconds on the clock. 39-27. One quarter to go after this. Crocker, I'm not sure... With the three, that is way off, but offensive rebound, can't get it. And with that, we're going to take a break. 39-27, Crocker on order. Gave them an advantage that they still hold right now. It's picked up. Lakeway foul. We're going to have some free throws out of this. And again, that'll send Addison West to the line, a 5'9 senior.
One more free throw to make this a 10 point game. It is 10 points. Ground, we have multiple. This Crocker ball on the net, if it is a jump ball. Crocker with the three, no good. They haven't hit one since the first quarter. Lakeway, this should be a two, that is good. Single digits and uh, back to 10. Bilner with a 30. So we're going to take a 30. We'll be back after this. We have a 10 point lead. The closest has been eight now in this quarter. Winner will play at noon tomorrow. We also have a Christmas parade here. We have a senior breakfast. Come early, you can get you some breakfast, watch a parade, watch some basketball. It is a fun family affair. Ball picked off on the inbounds. Hornets with a three, no good. Ball is still alive, it was tipped inbounds. We're going to have a foul on the floor. This will be the first foul on Lakeway. Second inbound attempt for Crocker here. <laughs> Foul on the Lady Hornets. That's her second. That is Miller. That's Miller's first. Trade out. So out of the timeout, back here, live action again in Lakeway, Crocker Lakeway. Third attempt for Crocker, that is no good. Lakeway will come away with the ball. Good for the Hornets. So Hornets cutting this lead to eight. Five and a half minutes to go in the game. Still plenty of time. Whistle, this is 21, I believe. That would be a 21 for Lakeway. That is Olivia with the foul, her second. Third team foul now for the Lady Hornets. And Crocker back to 10 again. So Crocker holding on to this 10 point lead fairly comfortable. Three, no good. A foul from behind. And 
we're going to have a technical foul, so we're going to have free throws here. That foul is the fifth foul on Shelton, I believe. So she will foul out of the game. And Crocker going to send a mint to the line for the free throws. Crocker will also be in the bonus following this. And that will give the ball back to Crocker. That's an 11-point lead. Not the biggest we've had, but it is... Again, we've had that margin of 10 to 13 pretty consistent here for Crocker. But, as I mentioned with the fellow radio comrades over here, that might have got away with the foul there. You know, if you come out 21 to 2, you have a very good chance of winning a ball game late if the other team can't overcome that gap. This is the fifth foul on uh, Crocker Candy. She's the one that we talked about earlier that had four in the third. So Crocker, she's a big part of their defense out here. They're going to have to work around that, but Shelton gone. Both teams missing, missing key players. Pass a little high. That'll turn the ball over back to the Lady Lions. ball is nearly stolen on the baseline. Crocker doesn't need a lot here. If they got something open and they're confident, I would go for it. However, I'd be looking for just a layup. I'd be spreading the floor. I'd be, you know, cutting to that basket instead of standing out in the corner. And kicked off out of bounds. However, it's still Crocker ball. 3.47 to go. Crocker with the inbounds. Have the open shot, but dangerous pass crossing the lane. And then we're going to have a foul, I believe, on Lakeway here. Looks like I got a, some noise coming from my computer, which means we got a basketball game going on down at Stratford. Maybe. I don't believe these are the right teams. I can't see the score. Foul on the Lady Lions. This will be number five, Emma Ruth. Her fourth now, so both teams running into foul trouble. point difference. Three. This will make it ten. That's off the glass. Heading the other way. Crocker, they're going to pull back for safety on this. Out of bounds. That is off of Crocker. Back to Lakeway. 
253 Oh, update from the Strafford tournament. It appears that Asheville is going to be Buffalo, by the way. foul on that and that will bring that may be her fifth so that is two Lady Lions that have fouled out in this ball game now so Emma Ruth will foul out along with Candy that is two starters out of the ball game and that will give bonus for both teams on the next foul up it is no good and we have a player that appears to be down we're going to take a break we'll be back after Up to 14 now. It appears that Crocker will move on. Very commendable second half battle for Lakeway, however. Just could not get that first quarter down, and that made the big difference here. Three point shot. This is off the rim. That'll bounce off the other way. Ball on the ground. This is a jump ball. If it is, it's Crocker. I believe it's going to be a Crocker basketball here. So we're going to see a full court press. I am sure of it. have a foul. This will be two more free throws. So, soon as that ball was inbounded, she was right there. I mean, it was just hitting a wall. Throws good for the Lady Lions on that. Three, it is up, no good. Rebound, Crocker the other way. And 140 to go. Crocker up by 17. This game is effectively over. We're going to have a... Uh, not sure what the call is here. So, not exactly, something about the bench, I think that was essentially a warning to just stop talking, basically, right there. So, one 
20 to go. First round will go to Tom Dillon right here in the Waynesville Bowls. This has been dubbed by various people. We'll have a matchup coming up not too much longer again. Another foul. This is... will be on number four. That's her second of Lakeway. So Caitlin Jones with her second foul, a sophomore. Two free throws coming for the Hornets. 34 seconds to go. So Emma Tolbert heading the line. Another senior. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seniors on this Lakeway team. First free throw off target. Second free throw, also off target again. And Lakeway with the bucket, 25 seconds to go. Ball is a backcourt, that'll give the ball back to the Hornets. Three, that is good. Lakeway, a little last minute offense. However, this game is over. And with that, our final score here today, it is 51-38. We'll be back for the boys here in about 20 minutes. We will see you then. Shot up. Yeah.